Hey folks, welcome back to Cafe Chronicles. My name's Dan, and on this episode of the Budget KZ750 build, we're going to take a look at wiring in the new Reg Rec. I don't know how the gumball gets wired in, but thank you, Rick, for sending it nonetheless. And we're going to take a look at finishing, tuning up the carbs, and balancing, and all that fun stuff. So let's get stuck in. The Reg Rec that I purchased was supposed to be universal. It was supposed to be just a bunch of wires that we had to wire in. So I was bracing myself for a wonderful adventure. And to my surprise, it's got plugs on it and it looks like it will bolt right up which is fantastic news for me um, but one thing that I did want to show you that I don't get to with the wires but I'll try to my best ability here I have three white wires here that match the three yellow wires here these will be the inputs coming from the generator um, I have a black ground here I have a black ground here so that will I mean it's a ground I don't have to explain what a ground is and then these connect to the battery. You'll notice I have four plugs here, I have five plugs here. On the factory circuit, you have a brown wire, which is a sensing wire. So this is going to be hooked into your accessory circuit, and this will be a voltage reading from the voltage going to your accessory circuit. The way that this works is you have a uh, you have AC voltage coming in three phase. So you have an AC input here, an AC input here, an AC input here, and then the, reg uh, the rectifier tries to combine these waves into a direct signal. So you just sort of blend the pulses into a strong, constant signal. Now, the voltage, batteries are typically 12 and a half, a charging system will bump it up to around 14, and then as, the, as you start to use things, the voltage will drop. And so the voltage drop on the signal wire will tell this unit that you need more voltage and then it will produce more voltage. So if you need 14 volts and this dips down to 12, this instead of being 14 will jump up to 16. That will blow up a lithium ion battery real quick. So the magic in these, and I, I mean it looks like a solid block of aluminum as far as I'm concerned, I've never actually cracked into one, but there's no signal wire. It knows exactly how much voltage it needs to put out and it puts that much voltage here. If the signal dips, you have a little bit less voltage in the signal rail, but you're not gonna blow up your battery, which is usually under your crotch, and that is definitely where you don't want to fire. No signal wire with the lithium ion Reg Rex, which is fantastic news for safety and efficiency. We finished up uh, some of the tuning, some of the syncing, it's sounding a lot better and we love at the moment just how it's starting, like it just kicks over so nicely. <laughs> We're just trying to get the bite of the clutch perfect at the moment and just trying to tune it in how Dan likes it. Okay, so currently we're taking a little bit of a go over the bike, we're, we're torquing up the swing arm, we're tightening down the clip-ons, 
we've been checking the throw on the clutch and stuff like that so we're getting real close to Danielson taking this out around the court here and uh, see what he makes of it some exciting stuff for us we had a little bit of an outro recorded and of course we had a little bit of a uh, technical glitch and we missed it all so it was just Dan and I looking real cheesy and happy and uh, no no audio but uh, just wanted to say thanks a lot for tuning in we still have some stuff that we need to do we've noticed a few things on the bike uh, that we have to fix up uh, tighten up the brakes and do some stuff but hey some serious success here and it's great to see this girl on her two feet and moving and it sounds awesome so thanks a lot for tuning in don't forget to like and subscribe support the the show by checking out our, our t-shirts online at cafechronicles.ca stay safe and we'll see you soon